Hello, I'm Mrs. Mack, a third grade teacher at Lafayette Upper Elementary School. Go Lions! Today we're going to learn about autobiographies and biographies. So before we get started, I'm going to give you the definition of both. Both autobiographies and biographies are about people who were living at one time or presently and they are non-fiction text. Autobiographies are written by the person that the text is about. Biographies are written by somebody else. So if I were to write an autobiography about Mrs. Mack, that's me, then I would have to write it. However, if Mrs. Sillis wanted to write about Mrs. Mack, then Mrs. Sillis's text would be a biography, okay? So I'm gonna read a autobiography for you. And I want you to notice how some of the words in the story are used, okay? This is called a painter's story. My name is Lucy Bevin Blevins. You will notice she is using the word my. You will also notice as I read, she will use the word I. These are all indicative of an autobiography. Okay, let me start over again. My name is Lucy Blevins. I'm a very lucky person because I make my living doing what I love, painting beautiful pictures. Now I'm going to stop. So this is an autobiography about Lucy Blevins written by Lucy Blevins. And that makes this an autobiography. I've loved painting for as long as I can remember. I painted my first masterpiece when I was just four. I had a bedroom with walls the color of the summer sky. One day when mom wasn't looking, I gathered up my paint pots and painted a summer scene on, a, on one blue wall. I painted myself and my dog Clyde in a meadow filled with daisies. I painted the sun above us peeking out from behind a fluffy white cloud. I was just finishing the painting when mom walked into my room. Her mouth dropped open and she stood absolutely still. I'm in big trouble, I remember thinking to myself. So I was really surprised when mom said, what a beautiful picture, Lucy. The picture stayed on my bedroom wall and is still there today, nearly 30 years later. I see it every time I go home to visit mom. I tell this story because it shows how much mom supported my love of painting. When I was in school, she cared as much about what I did in art class as what I did in math or reading or science. She saved all my paintings and she hung many of them on the walls in our house. She never said painting is a fine hobby, but it's a hard way to make a living. Instead, she said, you are so talented. You'll be a, you'll be a success. Follow your dream. Today, I am a success as a painter. I am happy that people love my paintings enough to hang them in their homes. I am proud that some of my paintings hang in museums around the country. Most of all, I am grateful that mom has always supported me. Much of my success is because of her. Now I'm going to read another autobiography. This one is called Drawing a Habit, Drawing a Habit Forming Hobby. It is written by Bill Peet. As I scan my text really carefully, I'm seeing words such as I and my. When you read a text that uses the words I or my and it is about somebody, you are reading an autobiography. So listen as I read this autobiography. The house on North Riley Avenue was where I spent the happiest years of my boyhood. My favorite room in the house was an attic where I enjoyed filling fat five cent tablets with a hodgepodge of drawings. Drawing became my number one hobby as soon as I can manipulate a crayon or pencil well enough to put my favorite things on paper. I have no idea how well I drew since all those early drawings are long gone. However, I must have drawn fairly well or I wouldn't have enjoyed it so much. 
I drew for hours at a time just for the fun of it, and yet I was hoping to find some practical reason to draw for the rest of my life. But when I entered grade school, my drawing habit suddenly became a problem. Now we are going to read a biography. This biography is about Bill Peet, but it is written by Dr. Seuss. Okay, notice there is no I, there is no my. That is indicative of a biography. Okay, so listen as I read the story called Bill Peet, written by Dr. Seuss. Bill Peet was born in Grandview, Indiana. As a boy, he liked trains and he liked to draw. He liked to draw himself into trouble as well. Bill drew in his textbooks. He was a paper boy when he wasn't drawing or gawking at locomotives. His biggest headline while he was a paper boy was, Lindenburg Flies the Atlantic. The summer between grade school and high school was a disaster for him. Bill's father came home from being a road salesman, asking Bill's mom for money. After a fight lasting a few days, his mom finally gave in and gave his dad the money. Then he left again to go back on the road. Then still in the same summer, his grandmother died. Now I want you to complete the activity on autobiography versus biography. If you have any questions, please ask your teacher. Bye!